Hello everybody, we're back. Sorry about uh, all those issues. Um, again, I've uh, I've been back and forth on, uh, well, making changes on things and trying, testing different things. And obviously for what will work well for one game on my uh, setup is not going to work well for all of them, obviously, depending on... Man, my hair is the worst part of actually this whole situation. Um, but uh, I believe... I've gotten the game to at least uh, be the, s the smoothest I've seen it so far. Uh, once it comes up, you can see here. This is this is the smoothest I know. Yeah, see that e even that little uh, that little pause there. I don't I don't know why I'm getting so much skipping. It's quite quite strange, especially because of the fact that uh, I've taken uh, everything's happening on my stream PC now. Uh, because uh, at least how I've been or how I've been testing it recently, anyway, is I have all these stream happening on the gaming PC and the game while I just record with the other uh, computer and I've been able to actually put out some better uh, put out some better you know visuals and what have you um, but now I just put it all back on my stream PC and just have the game running now and it's still a little slow which is hilarious because I my equipment is above the recommended specs for the game so I'm not sure if uh, if I'm just if I'm just doing something wrong or if uh, Whatever my setup right now is just slowing it down. So we're gonna we're gonna play it for a few minutes here, see how it goes, and if I get frustrated enough, maybe we'll just call it a night, and I will uh, come back trying to uh, uh, having uh, figured out what works and what doesn't, because uh, it's it's a little frustrating. But I did I did realize you can do these little dodges with uh, a double space bar jump, so that's cool. All right, so anyway, it's a shoot. So I, I guess we're supposed to shoot these. So. Damage my ears! Oh, oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Alright, we immediately go from looking at uh, fixing my computer to more tutorial, yay! Alright, hibernation complications detected, tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your b brain processes time differently. Your uh, process is time differently. I can't even read in English. This is this is terrible. Processing the tactical time dilation or TTD for you uh, fun people at home button uh, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and, and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. So bullet time. Some objects explode and hit. Shoot them when enemies are nearby for explosive surprise. Just don't be too close. Yep, yep, yep. Explosions can cause concussions. Oh. I thought he was dead. See, there's, there's just like a little hiccup in there. It's not terrible, but it's it. I notice it and it bothers me. All right, nothing in him. Oh, he's got lots of things. Hold you to take all light ammo and, a, and bit cartridges. Hi for inventory, perfect. Weapon management, you can have up to four weapons equipped at a time, dang. Uh, by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen uh, on this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill and repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. <laughs> Forgot about uh, Mr. Mustachio Man. Oh, we saw these these tubes hook up hooked up to us. That's that's something else, man. That's beautiful. Alright. Um, we also have the sentry saber. Let's at least have that ready, I guess. Magazine size, 9. Damage, 22. Special effect, bleed. Oh, we make people bleed. Uh, this is probably the most common handgun in the entire colony. It's not bad. Not a bad little gun, and it's a great source of parts. Armor management, drag armor and helmets. You're equipped with some Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same deal. Can I just... Oh my. It's more than I needed to see. Consumables. Here you can use junk. Uh, or 
you, here you can use comma junk comma or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top of the screen. Use it. It uses Adreno as fuel to heal you in an emergency. Always keep it loaded into slot number one. Increase your medical kit to unlock more drug mixing slots. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Good enough. Add medical for Okay, that. Okay. Quests, junk, journal. So we just gotta find Hawthorne Ship. Well, we have a codex as well. Oh no. Lots to learn. <laughs> Already. Hacking and picking. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you to get into places that you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks. Bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Okay, so bypass shunts are just lock picks for computers. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how You'll see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed of the process. So is it a mini game or is it just do a... So it was one, the inhaler? Or is that weapons? No, that was a weapon. Mag, thing of things. Oh, what else is this? Tarmac and cheese. <laughs> Zero G brew. Okay. Old ED is three picks. Telescoping staff. The iconic space spacer's choice telescoping staff can be modified many ways for additional cost. You found a new weapon. Whoa. I did not intend to do that. Okay. Alright, so I can... Oh, if you hit R, you can put things into things. Glorious. It's all I need to know. Aye. I have the exact same DPS. This can knock people down, though. Is this like a golf club? No, oh, it's like a... <laughs> Jeez. Sadly, we're not a melee warrior. Fish sticks, can we get burnt? Ah, yes. The answer is yes. Fire hurt. Alright, is that pre sliced bread? Yeah. Imagining you get uh, extra points for sneak. Up. It's frustrating me a little bit, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. That's okay. So these are all the same pistol. Light pistol, space restrict. Why are these cell values different though? Condition. These conditions are in 100%. Why is this one? Or you level up your. Or, well, I don't know if you level up the gun, but it's a level one. Whatever. Uh, light ammo. Okay, yeah. Average grade ballistic ammunition using this handgun. So that's what I will want most heavy ammo and energy ammo. I guess I probably could have did some sneaky sneaks around these guys, but 
that is fine. So we know balls hurt. Oh, see that? That's atrocious, man. I don't know why that is. They say my computer's perfect. This is such a game. There might be something I need to change. I'm not sure what, but something. Okay. You seem like nice people. That was the ship we want. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts. And worse, landing violators. <laughs> Gollum, That's worse. that wrong leech. Landing in a veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation, let it go. So I heard if I found one Really? How is he? Ooh, I shouldn't have brought him up. Still a moron, I'm, I'm hoping you're a little brighter. He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. I don't want to admit that I helped him. What's this dude? Does this say nothing? Oh, this just reminds me of what we've said. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive Damn, medical I shouldn't have said from off-brand physicians. Oh, no. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense, I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Well, sometimes management's real Back good at cost challenge. benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. The things these people get excited about in this universe is amazing to me. I mean, I can save my ammo, but... Oops. Oh jeez, this, uh, this is one of the best things about RPGs, you accidentally hit somebody, if you accidentally just breathe on them funny, they will fight you to the death, and I don't know how to get people to forgive me, oh no. Congratulations, you gain enough experience to go up a level, open your character ledger to advance your character, leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you uh, access to a new perk, keep leveling and you'll do all that stuff, cool. Some of you might. How do I? Oh, I want to submit you guys. That's fine. Though. That's fine. Uh, F. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even hit the F button quick enough. Um. Oh man, come on back. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. How's everything running down here? Things are going fine down here. Some, it's something else. I don't know if I got like a driver update that I need to do or or what have you. And the game looks beautiful. I don't know if it's just. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. I mean, it's just very very random moments too. It just seems to kind of slow down. I got everything on low. Like I'm I'm low as low can low. Um. And I I don't, I don't know I don't know. It's it's upsetting a little bit. Um, Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in a veil without using an official spacer's choice landing. The the, the big push on just everything being about obeying the rules is about. amazing right now. Uh, you pulling my limb? I I mean, yeah, of course, marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost I need to hear this lamination analysis. line again. It's amazing. But 
Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation. Pull my limb. <gasps> You're right. It's time yeah, it's we not just legs, we pull limbs here. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. It's gonna be laminated. Here we go. Alright. Let's help him on out, shall we? Try not to shoot him this time. Skipped one of the screens, that's okay. Um, oh, we can up stuff now. Uh, so if I were to do dialogue. Oh, these are points to, okay. So like, it's one each here. So like I can up my, uh, not that, that's not what I wanted to. Revert all. Um, I wanted to up this a little bit. Get that in the 30s. Maybe like that. Fanfare for the kills, I like it. Yes, no, the fanfare for murders is my favorite thing in video games. It's terrible. All right. Oh, all changes will be lost. No, go back. Um, I guess I have to apply them before I can even leave this screen. I like it. We're, we're going to do it. I mean. Uh, yeah. Time dilation hits. You have unlocked location hit effect for time dilation. It's not that. It's not. It's not. It's just not. This is not Bethesda. Well, this is not Fallout. Excuse me. Hitting enemies in different locations in the TDD maims or cripples those body parts. Try hitting different locations. Blah, blah, blah. Hits to the chest to produce different effects when using different weapons. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know about the perks. That's a face I needed to see. Uh, Auntie Cleo Specialized Management Seminars. Hit all the spots, says Tom. Yes. Welcome to the perk selection on the screen. You can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You, can, uh, you get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to do your, to be your best to help her be the very best. That's a creepy word. All right. Okay, more health. Uh, better prices at things. Campaign. More XP from companion kills. It's kind of cool. Better time dilation, more damage when alone in a party. So no party at all. Uh, you become very efficient transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born as a cargo hauler. Lock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Oh, I hate you guys. I hate encumbrance and I hate, I hate all of it. Your tactical time dilation uh, meter recharges much faster. Years of Adrena time use have left a permanent pep in your step. Yep, walk speed. Sprint speed, they're not slow, you're just fast. Carrying amount, vendors, and vending machines have additional ammo consumables. Additional ammo in stock, it's not bad. You can take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. I actually I actually really like that because being able to use stuff longer, it saves me money, it saves me time, so I'm almost uh on board with that uh the carrying capacity too is kind of nice after some unsanctioned adjustments blah blah, blah campaign critical hit chance base armor rating goes up i high maintenance um carrying more stuff is always nice some between uh do stuff longer huh yeah pretty much do stuff longer, faster, um, or harder. <laughs> um, the ammunition thing sounds kind of nice, but also so does just taking care of the weapons a bit more. Uh, carrying capacity. I don't even know how much I can carry in the first place. 
You get reputation and everything. Goodness. All right. Um. 25% less durability loss. Let's just go with it. I want it. Let's just do it. It doesn't matter. I don't care. No. No, I don't. Or can you right click or you should click again? Okay. Um. See, I don't want to do the over encumbrance that much. <sighs> More ammo would be cool. Sprinting speed, speed's nice. Being able to just carry more is good. Is that not that one? This one. Increase your maximum carrying capacity. Yeah. Let's just do it. All right, because I want to have the ability to carry at least some stuff. Doesn't have to be a ton, but just an extra little bit would be nice. Um, botched, completed, alphabetical. Okay, strange in the land. A lot of light pistols. Also, uh, armor. Yes, perfect. Do we look like a like? If we look like a marauder, are we gonna marauder helmet? The helmet's made of pieces of at least four other Hephaestus mining helmets plus parts of a mummy. I'm just hoping this this doesn't like act as disguises, right? Like no one's gonna start shooting me because they think I'm evil now. So we. Found melee. Ooh. Ugh. The, the sounds and the attention to detail in this game are great. And fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. It's M for map. Thank you. Perfect. Um, landing site. This is where we are, thank you. I wonder if that guy's still hiding in the cave. I hope he comes out in a minute. I don't know if I have to go get him later. Cool. Journal. Codex. Cool. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. The unreliable. <laughs> Welcome aboard the unreliable. That's good. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Jeez. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. <laughs> that That's a leading question that I don't want an answer to. Um... I don't appreciate being talked to I that way. I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Yes. Please do. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage your airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. If you are still here, <laughs> my deception protocols have failed. Yes. I have been programmed to express. Disappointment. No. <laughs> this is Hawthorne. This ship. vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. That's gonna make this awkward. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. That is correct. Marauders killed him. He met my escape pod all right at first. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I'm scared if I say this. I want to say it because it's funny. I'm scared if I say it, though, they're going to be like, wow, you're a murderer. <laughs> We're going to log that. Uh, I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed honesty. to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders... 
then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne and you can't fly. Oh, yeah, no. Well no. done, Captain Hawthorne. We're, we're being, uh, I see your powers have we're being sly and coy together. It's good. Intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Oh, sad our music. Our drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. I feel so bad for Ada. The drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> the the look she's giving, the sass right now is amazing. Yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks, Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Knock it off the Captain Hawthorne nonsense. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. She sounds like GLaDOS. She's she's got a bit of that the uh, energy. The console is offline at this time, Captain. Yeah, I need to I need to look at some things. My goodness. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is. At I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. Should probably let her no, talk. Really. Oh man. Workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do to it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, tinker, blah, blah, okay, okay, okay. Sawn off shotgun. This is considered a long gun, so this isn't not exactly my wheelhouse. Um, I got a few of these floating around. Um, break it down. Oh, cool, you can actually look at things. Um, how's the sawed-off shotgun? Not a, well, not a one-hander. <laughs> right. um, I don't know if I should be selling things or breaking things down. If I break that down, I get uh, weapon parts. I guess I can use that to fix... Some current stuff. Uh, ease repair. What does that cost? Okay, so you're over here on the left. It would cost seven, so we would be left with fourteen after that. Sure, why not? Let's just. I know it's a starting weapon, but just to get everything in order, I guess. All right. Cool. 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 Toss ball stick. Sleep. I can sleep. Excellent. I mean, it is an obsidian game, so yeah, it's stuck in this box. Yeah. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Yeah, power regulator. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. Okay, well, this is, this is just gonna let you fix your face. What you have to spend money on. Oh, and abilities and perks, I guess. So that's kind of cool. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Can I, like, put down my weapon in any sort of way? Nope. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. 
So everything is sealed up. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Ugh. Again, sorry about that uh, that frame rate stuff, man. That's just the the bits of choppiness there. It makes me makes me quite sad. We're gonna we're gonna fix it though. Maybe by tomorrow. Or maybe I'll just... I'm, I'm gonna do some research on it, so we'll see. Alrighty. Alright, we're back here. Okay. Ooh! That sounded like an ankle. Alright, well... Heading on out. Go find a power thing of a thing. Also, let's have this chick. What's she doing? Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, do you take down payments and wanton violence? You've got all wrong. I'll... I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. I can lie. Oh, Why not? Uh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Lieutenant Mercer. Let's see, if I walk straight, things look fine for the most part. Yeah, I got the draw distance on low. Jeez. Bit of a walk. Ooh, it's over here. Is this more of a, a marauder camp? Looks like it. That's, we're just gonna mess around for a little bit. What happens if melee with the melee? Just works the same. Um, and I'll play for a little bit, but yeah, again, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go. It's not gonna be the best. All right. Got that! All enemies have weak spots. Oops. Solid misses, solid misses. And some, some slowdown, that's great. Um, oh, they're maybe hunting. Fucking perts. Can we sleep on their stuff? Apparently not. I want to sleep on our own bed. Or... Or not. <laughs> okay. Oof. I mean, it looks pretty, it's just... Something, something. Curious on if there's like a holster. Hold reload to holster. It would make me feel less like I'm in a shirt shooting up the place if I can put that hey, down real quick. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium, ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. So, they pay to chat strangers, never got your name. I'm Rez! Uh, our name might be important, or not. You're telling me there's cannibals out there? <laughs> I am employed by the Retirement Department of Spacer's Choice. That's fancy talk for working in the cemetery. Grave digger. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. 
Who do I talk to about a power Definitely dealer? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, Jeez. you should stop by Reed Going Thompson's down. office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh, yeah, it depends on work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Jeez. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Jeez. Oh yeah, this guy's all the info dump. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people, uh, making people pay for Company their graves? policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. <laughs> Jeez. I'll collect fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? There's a lot of people. Marauders? People, yeah. Woof. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hey, it's always bumping up and down. It's killing me. It is the Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Jeez. Ah, void it. Shouldn't have said that either. Void it. Look, forget I said anything. I like their slang. Alright. I'm gonna say thanks. Are you on the... Yeah, you're on the edge of something here. I just, like, push you in a little bit. Can you just not be on that ledge? Have him turn around. Maybe that'll help. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Uh, got questions. Yeah. Uh, very nervous about the new colony hope. ship? Hope. Are you talking about that old hope. rumor? <laughs> some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing, far as rumors go. Is there a reason you're asking? Uh... You're saying everybody's forgotten about us. Let's change the subject. Well, let's, let's, let's hint Hope's a little bit. just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Get your drink on. That'll that'll fix it, apparently. Let's push it a little bit. Let's see what he does. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's going to be trouble. Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Okay, let's change the subject now. Something I can do for you? Uh, questions. Yeah. Uh, this town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Jeez. Uh... Don't worry about falling sick. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. How long have you been a junior in humor, grave digger, whatever? Hang on, hmm. I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Alright, well, there's that. I could really go for some salt tuna. He's working at the cannery. I could really go for some salt tuna. 
Can I give people Saltoon? That's the real question. I don't even think I have any. Free sliced bread! I mean, normally I'd want to go every way the game tells you not to go. Oh, is this a cemetery? Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? Uh, early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the retirement processes by lottery. Winners enjoy an all expense paid trip to the new life in Byzantium. Byzantium, sorry. The Jewel of Halcyon. Interesting. Oh yes, so, so it's red, red in this game. Uh, if something's outlined in red or all of the fonts in red, it means you're stealing, which I'm not against currently, but I don't really need any of that. Um, I don't need shovels or anything. I don't, I don't wanna, I tend to have sticky fingers and I just grab almost everything, but it's not always worth it, so. I got 21 and zero the other, so I'm not sure. I mean, Adreno, that, that could be useful. eat it um, also is there like the real question to figure out so I'm gonna start stealing some things is there is there karma is there like a karma system that's gonna be like hey you you've been stealing things it's not very nice oh space is choice you've tried the best now try the rest Spacer's Choice, Edgewater, Saltina, Terminal Access, Welcome Junior and Humor, Messages, from the Humor Association, Dear Reader, your subscription to the Humor Association newsletter has expired, we'd like to invite you to renew your subscription, act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovels Gazettes Quarterly, uh, from Spacer's Human Resources, uh, let's see, from the Human Resources, Edgewater Cemetery is a property of the Spacer's Choice Company, Spacer's Choice Family takes care of its own from the cradle to the grave, gravesite plots and headstones are provided by Space of Choice at an affordable rate. Comfort, spacious, blah, 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 compliment. Wait, custom engraved headstones and monograms. Complimentary eulogy courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of Space of Choice brand gravesite. Okay, return to root. Inventory logs. Burial invoice. Password acquired. Hack, the one bypass, okay, cool. Theodore Granger, cause of expiration, industrial accident. Successfully interred in gravesite 13F. Gravesite fee paid and accounted. In humor's addendum, Teddy's corpse was missing a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. You give him a discount because you're not putting in as, down as much of a body, that's, that's great, okay. I don't know if this information was 100% worth it, but that's, that's kosher. All right, we can't pick up random stuff like in Fallout. Like I'm not stealing utensils and trying to, to barter them off as something worthwhile. That's mine now. Cartridges. Cabinet. Model spaceship? Uh, it's probably a child's though, so I feel bad about that. But I'll take their noodles. I, I, I don't want to harm a child. That's, 
I don't know if those will be worth any. I mean, I could probably sell them more than anything. But... I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll leave the children's toys, but I'm gonna steal all their food. Look, this is a, a brand new world, and I don't know if I'm safe, and I don't know when I'll be hungry, so you need to take that into account. Transition to Edgewater. I'm loving this game so far. I wish there wasn't have the, these issues. It is it's too bad. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Edgewater discovered. Get more points. I like the hexagonal tiles. Let's go talk to some people. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. Move along. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Mm. The music. Glorious. If I do that, well, yeah, it does. Yeah. Spacer's choice cantina discovered. I mean, I could. It's not what I'm looking for. Why not? Did you read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. This man has a name. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? You're drunk. I've been asking myself that same question. Let's, let's tell him he's drunk. What? No, I'm Winslow. Lester Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. Not as think as you drunk I am. Just don't vomit on my shoes. Shouldn't you be working? I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. This guy in workers' comp and he's just drinking through it. You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Mm. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <laughs> the workers' comp is just 5% off beer. <laughs> hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Oh, uh, leave you be. Yep. I wish I had a... Oh, no, not that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you. Amelia, Alex Hawthorne. I wonder if anyone knows Alex, though. I'm scared to say I'm Alex Hawthorne. Or at least I don't want to. We don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. And what a fun establishment. Something's going on here that I should know about. Hmm. Let's let's charm her first. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be Kurt. We just got some problems lately. Hi, Kurt. I'm dead. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Uh, I don't. What's this about deserters? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. This Bunch is... of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. <laughs> shiftless. Anyway, enough about them. This what is... can I do for you? 
Gosh, this is just, this is poking a ton of fun at at least the, uh, I mean, the American work system of just like, well, you just got to work and like, if you're not doing well enough, you just got to work. And I mean, you might need to work some more. <laughs> Uh, your work-life balance does not matter because your life is work. Um, I want to talk to Reed. Where can I find him? Just feel like chatting. I'll have drink. Coming right up. All right, your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. Oh, so we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. We have a discount. Also, I wonder if what I said actually helps that. Um, can I sell her guns? Or sell. Jeez, I picked up so much stuff. <laughs> I could sell her weaponry. Okay. Um, but yeah, buying healing items. Let's see. Two hour energy brew. Dehydrated water tablets. Wait. Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Sugary drink. I love this universe. This universe is beautiful. This is this is the best. Oh, this is so good. Plain pure water. Ingredients 99% water. <laughs> That's what that I somehow still don't believe that somehow. That just sounds wrong to me. Also, I hate that I can't click this. Alright. Oh my goodness. This is too funny. Alright, I don't I don't wanna get into this just yet. Alright, are we all headed out? It seems like there is a day-night cycle in this game. Am I allowed back here? Bathroom, nothing to grab. Nope, nothing behind him here. So you got the 20 out of 10. Oh, oh, that's the skill. Okay, that's what that is. I was like, I have the item for that, but now it's just... I have the skill to do it, just not the the, uh, the equipment to do so. Another door. <gasps> Piano. Yeah, it's still playing. That's fine, that's fine. Feel like I can't be seen. Good enough. Whisper quiet muzzler. A bulky attachment that can be fitted into the muzzle of any earth standard caliber weapon. It dramatically reduces the muzzle blast and flash during firing, enabling covert kills. Well, that's mine now. Um, bit cartridges, yep, stealing that. You've gotten weapon modification, install a workbench. Yep, 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 yep. So I get a flashlight, goodness. Again, is there anyone around? Also the sound. Sound effects are great. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Again, this is how I play these games. Instead of stealing everything, I'm a total, total kleptomaniac in these games. It's the worst. I mean, I probably don't need that, but it's mine. That what, that was a cigarette something. It's mine now. Cartridges. Another light pistol. Energy cells. Sure. Jeez, I have no. Currently, have no morals right now. I got out of a spaceship uh, escape pod hibernation thing, and I'm just I'm just ready to take everything I see. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's at least nice to be up here. All right. See, now I feel like I could possibly get spotted by someone, which I want to be careful about. Cause normally, when you when people realize you stole something, they get real mad. Possibly shooting you kind of mad, but okay, well. Ooh. It's just a bin that's just chilling here with ammo. Interesting. Can I sneak into the general store from here? Oh. Alright. Yeah, I discovered the general store. Right, 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 right. Let's get, let's go to the marker here. Let's let's do this. Gosh, that music's glorious. The Saltuna Cannery. This is where we're gonna find our uh, power reactor. Here. 
Edgewater, Saltuna Cannery, Spacers, uh, Logs. The Edgewater Saltuna Canning Facility strictly adheres to Spacer's standards. Health and safety, yep. Schedule your sick leave with your Spacer's Choice Foreman. Supervisor, be considerate toward other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your schedule and sick leave. Goodness. Wait. <laughs> you need four weeks before you can be sick, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, lost hours must be compensated to the company. <laughs> what? Um, C read if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. <laughs> we'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Gosh. Work invigorates the spirit, does it now? The sickness, uh, sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, might be time to schedule a meeting with our local vic uh, vicar? I'm actually not sure what that is. Maybe I am uneducated in some things. I don't, I don't need to steal any of that. Are there cameras? I feel like there ought to be. Mine now. I don't know, I don't know why I'm just such a, a ruthless person, but I feel I, I, I need this stuff because, again, I have nothing except for a spaceship that I just gained. The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Ooh. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's... Seems we've got a guest. Really, really not that. Buddy. I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You must be the boss in town. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you might have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. I already hate this Seems man. I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. It's the worst. It's been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Mm, sounds interesting. Well, I guess you want me to do something before you'll help me. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so mostly. all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, so either it's filled with monsters that I'm going to have to fight off, or there's a bunch of poor people down there living off of it, and I'm going to feel bad about it. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. So do I want to be a man of the people, or... Like people take kindly no, losing their power. I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. If you want me to solve your dessert problem, I charge by the head. Um, I mean, this, uh, saying why would probably give us some more background as to the whole issue, um, and then just, that's just getting straight to the point. I just want to say this for fun. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My they hope need to is work. that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. 
before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's Adelaide. about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Must have a reason for the left. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. Okay. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I get the feeling she's she's gonna have more of a story. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. She's got technical skills, so I'll take her. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... I'm all set. You an engineer. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions, you've gained a companion. They're, they are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. Oh, geez, so that that's a huge. Um, they increase your carrying capacity. <laughs> They're pack meals. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration skill. My, uh, some may, people may require completing another quest before they will assist you. You can check your quest log. So, do you follow me now, or can I? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Okay, so some doors do require full-on keys. Okay, I'm not gonna steal things in front of people. Here to go, Pavardi. Oh. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's okay, office okay, okay. when we talk. Mister, can we talk? Sorry. I you wanna talk. Got a sec? Yes. Sorry. I... You just wanna get out of here. And you likely don't wanna tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. It's about the deserters, what's the other side To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. A four. Can't blame anybody wanting to leave. The town's got issues. How well do you know the deserters who worked with them? That's a good question. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real Aww. sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Do you know this Adelaide? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. A flavorist. All I know is she left after her son died. A real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Yeah, why aren't they arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't ever mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if we can get out to her. Miss McDevitt. Um, can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. I'm sure. 
Yeah, I'm sure they're fine people. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. She, she's so... She's so ready to just be... Be just yelled at and brutalized. This poor woman. Uh, where would I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Right. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Okay. Uh, what's, yeah, what's X do? I'm seeing these keys down there. Coming. Okay. So now she will follow me. I'm on my way. So just holding down Z will make them. Coming back. Vicker Max. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Huh? Carry on. Can't help him. Eh, he's in the building. Anything back here? Of course there is. Thank you for uh, awarding exploration. <laughs> I'm really digging this game right now. I just wish it wasn't. I've always felt weird in here. Being garbage. Too clean. Real quick. Cause I, I feel like I'm I'm kind of winding down here, and I wanna call it quits for the night in a minute. But how much more does it stutter? Cause it it almost seems to get better. don't understand. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna make do with what we got here. Our place in the universe is fixed. That was free. I don't know why. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, a witch no, hunt no, no, up no. in here, jeez. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Verity to you. All right, Mr. Vicar. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. I like that there oh, are interjections I so and rarely get new people to talk to. That's Name not your something voices, I'm used to. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor 
Answer in single words and slink away. No, oh, no. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Fix the GM thermal plant, cut the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you advise? Or what do you think of their group? What do you think? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. So thoughtful. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? It's not that bad. I mean, that, I, I want to live off grid. Don't get me wrong. Um, what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. What? I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better Fetch than quest. me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Am I with a vicar? Be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Is that so? Well, I want to cause trouble. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you after contraband text. I want to know more about the book. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Doesn't seem like we're a lot of readers. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Not yet, but... Please get it. All right, well, that's all he cares about now. Um... What would you like yeah. to discuss? How did you know I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Jeez. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Maybe it's because you're so dismissive. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised to hear. Yeah, let's, let's be obnoxious. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. It's not like you're terrible at your job. No, I am not. Though there is something to your accusation. It is wrong for me to succumb to distress. <laughs> I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No? How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. That's what you're selling here? Selling? No. It is free for all who seek it. Get what you pay for. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. 
was actually asking about what religion was all what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. We Scientologists? Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. OSI. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. <laughs> scientism. Oh, I want to believe in scientism. Prayer meditation or what? Scientism. Not very religious. You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. So we're a machine. Yeah, what's there to aspire to? This just got philosophical on a deep level, man. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like this is a... We will eventually question. decode the plan and all its intricacies. Oh. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, really? the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential. And we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Sounds like a... Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I prefer that, I Seriously, think. Seriously, <laughs> though. To truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Okay. Deeply interesting. Uh, that didn't really give us so much as more options as it did. We can't say as uh, just more to uh, more to do actually. Can we closer in? No. All right. Journal. Can I... Ah, okay, there we go. So we double tap things to, uh, to activate them. Let's go find this book real quick, Pavardi. Transition to the Emerald Vale region. Hopefully she's an okay fighter. <laughs> uh, we, we haven't discussed uh, fighting yet, but she is gonna do it. If we get hit by Marauders anyway. Hoping, hoping this this works, this works in general. Just want it to work. Want it to be good. The only source of protein for a busy worker. Okay. God, what happened? Um, uh. And he looked down upon me. All right. Uh, do we want to just pump up the dialogue? I just want to be the smoothest talking dude in the room, man. What does this get me? I get competent. People will cower uh, or scramble. <laughs> All right. Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after first hit them. Cower duration. People will cower for 10 seconds. They're cowards. Scramble duration. 15% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. So we scramble them. Excellent. Yeah, what's the higher ones? Coward target armor goes down. Human coward chance goes up. When human cowards, you gain 25% armor. Good. Scramble chance, okay, okay, and that, that was not the right way to say K, sorry. 20% uh, creatures will become terrified and flee. The effects, the, the area spreads, terrified creature movements. So they run away and they get slower. 
That's a little funny. Um, creature terrified chance goes up. Terrified creature. All right, cool. See, the, the thing that I actually really like about this is that this isn't just helping me in dialogue. Um, persuasion helps me with Pavardi, or that helps Pavardi. Um, I'm hoping this just, just makes me better at, at talking people down in general, so. Intimidating, lying, and persuading. That's, I'm gonna use a lot of it. Uh, accept it, let's do it. Right. Character, skills, yeah, yeah. Oh, did I not accept it? Yeah. E for apply, yes. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are, autom they are automatically deliberated, or debilitated, <laughs> deliberated. <laughs> You just the, the deliberation happens, and then you take a vote, and then it's it's a whole thing. Debilitated. Okay. Cool. See that that might come in, in real handy at some point. Ludwig Miller. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Not you me. ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Oh, this is one of the guys that owes money. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. <laughs> made of iron and lies. Oh, that's great. Oh, the writing in this is, is superb. I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanicals. I hate his lower lip. Creatures killing forged me. in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. <laughs> firing at the birds. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. Yes. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? That's how it's going to end. Cowering no, beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with I the resistance? I didn't think he's... I did not believe that he said cot at first. <laughs> Thought he said something else. Um, if resistance needs another gun, I'm for hire. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm willing to I've been shoot. gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacers chaw, a few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. And snacks. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. What do you need done? They Let's have get all the missions. Scout, prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Use a couple pointers, sure. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um the blue glowy square thing. I like him. <laughs> I had a question for you. Go on. What do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. We got the prepper. I love it. Go on. What do you have against mechanicals, You man? ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you. Scanning you with its murderous oculus. That's pretty creepy. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. More or less. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Go on. Do I have any questions? No. All right. Campaign skills add to your ch skills check. Increasing your leadership skills increases the bonuses they give. Can I relieve this man of anything that he's 
Model spaceships, man. I guess there was something, but... Also, is she gonna tell on me if I steal things? Shh. That was really close. Also, did she shush me when I when I went down? Don't want to get caught stealing things. Workbench. Modifications. Jock weapon customization program. Install your mod, first select the item you wish to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you want to install, scope, armor plating, blah, blah, blah. Finally pick the mod to install, and boom, your upgraded item. Both weapons and armor can be modified. Mods can't be removed once they're used, so put them on your favorite gear. Just like everyone else. All right, I, I have a pile of pistols that are all the same, except for the first one I got is worth more for some reason. The magazine size is smaller, even. This one's a level two. Why is the sell value of this one 15 while the other one's seven, though? Actually, there's a compare button, isn't there? There we go. Sorry. Um. The magazine size is bigger and the damage is more. But the other one costs, or it would get it would net me more money. I don't understand this. Alright, get rid of that. Um, yeah, that one's twenty four. Well, that's those are other weapons. Don't understand it, man. Can't stand it, and I planned it. Wait, am I going crazy? Or is this a modification I can make? Hold on. Okay, wait, I can make modifications to things here, I think is what it's trying to tell me. Install magnification, okay. I don't, I don't necessarily want to do that though. So I'm seeing three. Four pistols unequipped, but that, that doesn't, that's not actually right. So 22, 22, and 22. So scope adds all that. That's weird. All right, whatever. We're not gonna upgrade it. It's a starting weapon. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep moving and look at all these all these things. Vending machines. Get experience for discovering vending machines. So many things to learn. Vending machines offer a variety of items purchased mostly from one company. A hack skill of twenty or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on. A vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with associated factions or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Cool, cool, cool. Can, is there an awesome pistol in here? It's not looking like it. Just rifles. And shovels. Awesome shovels. A light machine gun. It would only cost me five bits. Oh, 
it's got a little keychain. I, mean, I don't know if it's worth it, but it could be fun to just have another gun. Uh, DPS is a little bit less. It's not as fast, but... Can I compare this to the gun I own or am using? Yeah, because it does more damage individually. I'll well, we'll just buy one for the walls, man. We can. Uh, how does one buy E? We've bought a thing. Uh, light ammo. There. I don't understand that menu. Why doesn't <laughs> I hate when things are, are are ported? What if I want all their ammo? Yeah, I don't even have enough for any of that. Oh, I'm, I'm out of bits anyway. That's why the accept button is gone. That's why. Okay. Let's at least go find this book real quick. Oh, uh, it's real far away. And now I'm gonna get distracted. Ah, oh, he ain't right. Bet I could fix him up smart. The subtitle came real quick. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Oh, Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. I cannot do it myself. Go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. I'm not gonna be obnoxious to a robot. Can we fix the combat drone? I want the combat drone to be my friend. Self-diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. Something you need? Can you fix that warbot? <laughs> you mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine. That it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Very interesting.
The Vicar's about the only soul in the Vale who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Oh, jeez. Oh, sad. Alright, can't repair you. Anything in here? That's coming out. Whoa! Yes. I will take all the things. Also, I'm glad she doesn't get mad when I steal stuff. I must protect Pavardi at all costs. More combat drones. That might be a mission related thing later. Ooh, landing pads. Alright, let's go to this residence while well, someone picks up the rest of it. Oh boy. Heal you. Oh, food. Er, F to use. Cool. That'll heal me over time. Uh, she just heals on her own, I guess. Where are we headed? Yeah, because I can't tell her anything. X doesn't do much. Alright, cause she heals over time. I have to be careful with her. Take all that, yep. This one dude has cool armor. Can I have some of this? A necklace. Uh, I'm not gonna get used to that. I really wish it would just, uh, it would just equip. I'm dressed completely like a marauder now. Uh, yeah. Muzzler. Drino. Check this guy ready. I guess so. That was just the three. Got a ring and a hunting rifle. And Pavardi's almost back to full health. Excellent. Sneaky. And an outpost discovered. life way too much. I mean, I saw this and I was like, well, I guess I can sneak in, but we got spotted real quick. I don't know. I want to do this. this in here, I guess. Yeah, let's pick it. 
criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Shocker. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequence. I wasn't seen, was I? You're not gonna say anything, are you? I sincerely hope not. Messages. Wait, space. Yeah, yeah. From J. Bart Bartrell. Clement, I must disagree with your theories about Earth Directorate's place in the colony system, colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened up, uh, opened for us, I believe Hal Halcyon, or uh, yeah, Halcyon. And all other colonies of the Rim and the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if Earth Director wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. You must think corporations would accept the mandate inclusion of Earth's ministers if they have no ch had a choice in the matter. Uh, of course, I'd never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave Earth direct, uh, directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them weakened, in a weakened state, and the skip drive simply uh, was simply the extra leverage the director, directorate needed to return to power. Interesting. So, we are not in the best of relationships with the uh, good old Mother Earth. Right, where is this? Uh... Examine. Collector's letter. I just got a letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate the Edgewater Cannery effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books mold, uh, moldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them away in a cave over by the river. Okay, so... Well, now we get to walk even more. Awesome. Drugs. I'm, I'm really waiting to see when I get encumbered here. Ugh. It's just not, it's not smooth. I don't know if it looks, I feel like it does look just as jittery, man. It's just something else. Not sure what or why. Wait, how many of these buildings can we go into? Evicted. Oh, jeez. Oh. Skull fin. Model spaceship. Weapon parts and something else. I, <laughs> I keep skipping over things. I'm just like, yep, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Um... Support right now, 16. Now we're trying to get this manual. More food and stuff. Speed grip. Spacer's Chrome. Bit cartridge. Nice little studio apartment. Okay, so this was the cannery. A small percentage of weapons and armor you may find are considered pristine. They have more durability and are worth more to vendors, so the pristine was why that was worth more. Okay. Oh, the river's super far away. Alright. I feel like it's a terrible note to leave on, though. Um, journal. 
Die robot die. Ludwig, a guard watching over the bay. Deal with the mechanical scout. Ludwig reports that he spotted a forward scout of the mechanical army north of the landing pad. As a test of your metal, he's required you to dispose of the scout in the name of humanity. I already did that. I don't remember this already. Uh, oh, return. Uh, you repaired the mechanical scout, which was just lost due to a dislodged navigation module. They wanted us to just blow the thing up. It was just lost. All oh, those are explosives. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. So we can't get into that building. This building we've, we've looked at most of it, I think. I don't know if we've looked at all of it. So we can't go up and over in there. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this just leads back over here. Okay. Such a cool world, man. I feel like I at least want to find this book. Um, I played for a lot longer than I expected to. I mean, the uh, the issues with things looking a little funny has got me down, uh, and I feel like I'm going to be researching it quite a bit later on. But uh, but this game's just really cool. Um, it it definitely feels like the Fallout games, but just better and obviously the aiming's generally better than it was in the um, New Vegas which is a must because the aiming in New Vegas was, was terrible you, you basically wanted to either be a melee person or have all your uh, combat happen in VATS because it was just it was just terrible Ugh. abandoned camp abandoned camp And health. Can't take any of the food, it's fine. Oh no, I didn't want her to die, no. She gone forever now? Oh wait, she's up. You hiding? You scared? Here we go! No, you just you just barely lost your life. Oh, I need to. Someone lost a leg today. Oh no. Alright, how does how does character death work? Where are we headed? <laughs> She's just filled with bullet holes. Item repair. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Okay. While this is probably the worst place to call it quits, uh, we're going to. Uh, we've been going for a few hours. Um, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. Sadly, the uh, just just the issues I'm having with the uh, the technology kind of sucks. Um, just making a couple saves here, and I might might test things out a little bit to figure out what's going on. But uh, everybody, thank you for coming and watching. Um, it's been a good time. I really like this game. I think this is a game that I'd really, really enjoy. Um, uh, as a coworker uh, told me, he gave this game a solid B minus, um, which I I can't deny. That sounds awesome. Um, so I'm I'm definitely thoroughly enjoying it, and I can see a lot of the potential in it. Um, uh, I hope it can come back stronger. Um, for for some reason, 
I don't know what it is. Again, my, my computer's got all the, the right specs and we're not running anything else. So I might figure out uh, if I have a few updates I need to do or, or what to make the game run just a bit smoother. But um, again, thanks everybody for coming and watching and uh, I will probably catch y'all later. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what the plans are. I'm a little bit off schedule and we're kind of I'm kind of changing around. Um, still working on scheduling and what I want to do for the next couple days. Um, and obviously this will be the last week I'm streaming due to holidays and Christmas and such. Um, but I will be back tomorrow and hopefully maybe I will uh, play more Outer Worlds here. We'll try and get the game running smoother and uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyway, everybody have a great night and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Yeah!